come. The heyday of American cigarette smoking was the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, right into the 1950s. But uh, the age of women's liberation in the 1920s and, and, and uh, just the roaring 20s was something that, that lent itself beautifully to cigarette smoking. Let it all hang out. And Lucky's was big. New processes had been developed to make smoking more palatable. Women were taking it up. Men had taken up smoking about 40 years earlier, and now women were catching up. And you had almost every magazine showing cigarette advertising and featuring opera stars, movie stars, athletes, you name it. They were all in Lucky Strike, Camel. Philip Morris uh, was, a, was a minor brand then compared to the, to the big three, which were Lucky Strike, uh, and Camel, and uh, I'm trying to think, what's, what was the third one? Uh, gee, I guess Chesterfield would be the third one. Yeah, not as big as the other, okay, well, we'll just do that again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 1920s were made for cigarette smoking, the roaring 20s, liberation, women taking up habits that only men had done. So you had the major cigarette products, Lucky Strike, Camel, Old Gold, Chesterfield, all having movie stars, athletes, artists, opera singers in almost every issue of every major fashion magazine or sports magazine. And then you had radio coming in in the late 1920s and every major show, Bob Hope, uh, Jack Benny, all sponsored by a cigarette company. And, and Jack Benny, they would blend the commercials right into the comedy hour. So this was something that uh, couldn't be resisted. The movies were the glamour age of film and all of the great movie stars were seen on camera smoking cigarettes. Dark Victory with Betty Davis and, uh, uh, what's his name, Conrad? Um, Dark Victory with, uh, well, I'll just do it again. Hmm? It's Conrad, it's something Conrad. Oh well, can't think of his first name. What's Conrad's first name? 